Hello, welcome to the new uh, video dedicated to the Cherson 6 22. So today I will show how to use two software associated with. The first one is the Gimbal software, so where to download it. Uh, well, in fact, it's the same Gimbal company than the uh, Wingsland Minimet. So the software is uh, compatible. So you have to go to the, for example, to download the uh, Wingsland Minimet uh, web pages, and you have especially uh, this uh, Gimbal correction program. It's okay, so it actually is a version. 4.3. So when it's done, uh, you have to uh, go to the uh, download the uh, rare file and zip it, and you have to run this software. Okay, so it's actually presenting like this. And uh, well, you will need uh, to plug your uh, uh, micro USB to your uh, gimbal port and uh, plug your uh, USB to your computer. So, like this. And uh, when it's done, it will powering and you, you can see that you have the information of the hardware display and the uh, uh, serial number as well the firmware version of the uh, gimbal so actually you you have to uh, you can access as you can see the uh, x0 uh, and accelerometer version so if you plan to you meet some problem with the instability of the gimbal you can calibrate it so i strongly advise for example take this kind of uh, um, uh, Kleenex, okay, you install your gimbal uh, the most horizontally in uh, and uh, uh, stable on the flat uh, surface like this and you can press on the uh, clear EMU and you will recalibrate your um, gimbal like this. So it's uh, the first um, uh, uh, possibility to calibrate your internal EMU of your gimbal. You have different uh, parameters associated with so it's actually written in Chinese, so you can read it, okay, and you have the different element appearing. So you can tune the PAD, I, I don't advise too much. Uh, and as well here, you have some uh, parameter, and for example, this one is the offset. For example, if you want uh, your gimbal is not completely uh, um, flat, okay, you can play with these uh, two parameters. And write uh, eventually. Okay, so it's the first uh, software, uh, the uh, OM, well, it's written 3-axis brushes gimbal, but it's working for the 2D at least. You don't need to pour your quadcopter, just plug your micro USB on the, uh, on the uh, gimbal port. So I will shut this uh, software and turn and plug the uh, micro USB. And now I will uh, show how to access to the firmware of the flying contouring board. So this time you will need to um, uh, to power with the batteries, bigger models, so you have to plug like this, your, like this, and then, um, uh, as you may know, uh, the flying contouring board is uh, a big shark model, so I think they changed the name to fly shark, okay, not sure of it, but uh, if you go to the uh, um, software there, your web pages there, you can go to the uh, support on the left, uh, on the topic here, and you can download the Flying Contouring Assistant version 1.3 here, and after download it, you will be able to uh, use uh, the uh, software and to tune some parameters. Uh, so I will start with this one. So I will go to the uh, software. So, sorry. So personally, I already installed it. So what you have to do is to uh, plug your uh, LiPo of the quadcopter. Since I bypass the security system, I just need to plug it, but you will have yourself to press more than four seconds to start your uh, LiPo uh, quadcopter normally. It's done. I will turn the radio. Be sure to do it without any props. Okay, now it's done. And what you have to do is to run your uh, uh, software. So after an honorary, you have this X8 assistant. You execute it. And you have to, if you press, you plug your USB cable, okay, you should read everything. Okay, so immediately after uh, running it, you can see that you actually, uh, the uh, 622 got a firmware 1.50%. The, the nominal time have already flew. And uh, well, it's a special version of the uh, Ford 622. And whatever parameter you have, you have that it's using a quad X design, 
Uh, and the big important information are here. You can see you have a limitation of 200 meters of altitude. You can reset it by writing zero here, so you remove any limitations. And you have your different uh, voltage, voltage here. As you can see, uh, there is a big problem. So you have the landing voltage here to 10.5 for the alarm and 10.1 for the landing voltage. You can set to write. Okay, and you will write the new parameters. Um, what is also important, you can read on the radio. Okay, you can see that as soon as I'm uh, playing with the quad, okay, you will see that the um, everything is working well, as well as the sticks. Okay, maybe on the other panel you will be, will be able to see more. Look, that is working well. So what is strange is the um, switch A, which is actually channel 5. So in zero position, the value of uh, uh, channel 5 is 1,500. In one position, it's 1,900. And one is on two, it's down to 1,100. So, uh, so 1, the middle is in position zero. The upper value is the one position, and the lower value is in the two position. So be aware of this. Uh, actually, the uh, switch um, C is not displayed. Okay, the switch uh, B never. Okay, and um, the uh, switch uh, for the camera never, and never. Uh, of these pots are working. So uh, actually, uh, it's uh, it's uh, the configuration like this. So if you plan to install or modify some things, you can, for example, modify your uh, uh, behavior of your flight controller. So uh, where is it exactly? It's probably here. You can tune your um, yaw, roll, pitch, and vertical axis everywhere. So this is for the default uh, software. But in fact, you will know that there is now a version V2 of the software. So you, the first thing to do is to uh, download on the new web pages, so also Flychart pages, and you can go to uh, download. In fact, so you will find a new firmware version V2 for the CX22. So you will have to install. And there is a software, okay? You go to the uh, Chark X8, if I'm not wrong, or Chark. Um, uh, fly tool, and you will find the new uh, fly tool uh, associated with. So already downloaded. So I will go here to, the, and uh, this software, new software. So I didn't yet install the new uh, firmware, but uh, with this one, you can already uh, see some uh, uh, element appearing on the data. Okay, so you will see the, the, the same working. Okay, and uh, as I said, only the uh, the uh, this channel uh, one A is appearing on the screen. You can see one thousand one hundred for the uh, two position. In the middle is one thousand nine hundred, and and the zero position is one thousand five hundred. The uh, switch C nothing, switch B nothing, and the camera nothing. The pot nothing too. So this is a default calibration. So with the new software, you can see that now you will be able to calibrate your transmitter. You will be able to calibrate uh, the uh, gyroscope as well. So a new calibration step is added. And you will be able, well, when I will uh, do the offline uh, flashing, you will be able to upgrade here and to uh, upgrade your new uh, version V2622 uh, firmware there. And here also you can find some new parameters limit the, uh, the, the max flight speed. And the more important, I would say, is are here. You can assign the uh, switch. You can change the assignment for the switch. That's good. And for example, if you want, you can fly completely in manual mode. I think it would be possible. Uh, you have the idle speed and so on. So very nice. And uh, the more uh, tricky uh, and the more interesting, I would say, is uh, the, um, there is a new software also. So, uh, sorry, and uh, this one is allow you to uh, plan your mission. So there is a mission planner, so that's pretty good. 
So I will show and make probably another video dedicated to it. So basically to resume, uh, the Cherson 22 come with the version V1 of the firmware, so using the version V1 of the uh, um, Grand Station software. Uh, you will already be able to tune the uh, maximum altitude and some different uh, flight characteristic parameters. But if you want to extend some new features, you will be able. You will have to sorry to install the version V2 on the FlySky uh, web pages. So you go to download there. I repeat, and um, uh, you will be able to uh, go to the uh, uh, track track. Sorry, yeah, go to the download here. It's strange and you will be able to download the firmware to install it and as said here, you will have, as soon as you install the version V2, you have to recalibrate transmitter, recalibrate EMU, recalibrate compass, check out all the settings, etc, etc. So, a uh, long step, uh, step to do. So, I will probably do a special video for the uh, uh, upgrading from version V1 to the version V2 of the uh, firmware. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.